this video we're going to take a quick look at a 8 character dot matrix smart 5x7 alphanumeric display manufactured by Hewlett Packard however it's got a strange <clears throat> strange number it's uh, instead of the standard HDSP it has a QDSP and this guy was taken out of a piece of equipment so I'm not even quite sure if it's operational. One of the problems is, of course, after it's taken off of a PC board, is the pins are too short. Now to do anything with so, I'm going to have to take and extend each one of these pins. Little patience, I'm sure, and get it uh, <clears throat> wired up on a proto board, and see if we can get this uh, display operational. The problem is the pins now are very short, so I'm going to have to get a little creative. And I'm going to have to take and put some extended leads on each one of the pins to be able to use it uh, effectively. And probably mount it on a PC board. The thing is, I'm not quite sure if this is even operational. Uh, again, it's been extracted from a piece of equipment. And hopefully it is operational. It doesn't have the exact HP part number either. Instead of a... Um, HDSP, it's a QDSP 2169, and I've not been able to find an exact spec sheet for it, but hopefully it'll be something similar to the HDSP 21XX series. A little bit of patience. We added uh, pin extensions or, or pigtails on each pin because. <laughs> The pins on this uh, display now were too short, and there's no way you can either get it on a socket or on a breadboard. Now with these pigtails soldered on, hopefully we didn't destroy anything. We'll try to get um, everything put up on a breadboard and give it a try. Here's the print of the test set setup <clears throat> with the... Uh, part layout, etc. Uh, the view of the part is from the face of the part. And you can just uh, pause your browser and take a screenshot of this if you wish. As it turns out, the QDSP part number, which is a little odd, uh, works identical to the HDSP devices, which is uh, described in uh, the specification sheet. Well, we were successful in getting the display put up on a plug board, extending all the tiny little pins. What we did is we've got the address of the control register hardwired, the data lines hardwired for the self-test. So now all we have to do is uh, tag the write line a little bit, and that should write the control data, or the uh, <clears throat> control word to the device, and it should go into self-test. And it does, and what the self-test does is it tests everything, the memory, obviously all the LEDs, and it goes into a crosshatch pattern. It does half the LEDs in one two-second interval, and another in the other LEDs in the, uh, another two-second second interval. So, without even using a uh, PC or microprocessor, we can test the device and it uh, is working perfectly. And if you hold the right line low, it continuously writes the self-test word continuously and the self-test runs continuously. Of course, it's going to overexpose, but this display is a slightly red, I think I'd call it an orange color for the, uh, for, for the actual digits. So, without even using a PC or a microprocessor, you can just do a hardwire test set and test the operation of the display device. We can see the 
the device has an internal clock which we can see or monitor on pin 12 which is the clock output and in this case is about uh, 60 67 kilohertz so that's about all there is to tell as far as the um, HDSP LED alphanumeric display. And they make nice little displays for any kind of microprocessor project.